you'll love this video. Hi, I'm Bhavesh Shah from IIM Ranchi and we shall now be analyzing the past year papers of IPMAT and all. In this video, we shall be observing patterns and I shall be advising you how to make the best usage of the past papers. What I shall not be doing is I will not be predicting what the next paper is going to be or what the important topics are because this is an unpredictable exam but we can do make some use cases of the trends. There are some distinctions that I would like to make. This is not your board exam. This is a competitive exam. Your job is not to get full marks. Your job is to answer as many questions as possible accurately in a very short period of time. For board exams, you get a beautiful structure, weightage per chapter, how many 2 mark, 5 mark, 8 mark questions. IPMAT, on the other hand, does not give a shit about you, so it's not going to tell you what it is. Because IIMs have only 150 seats and you have 30,000 people competing and fighting for it. They need to distinguish between the 99.5 people and the 0.5% of the people. This is an elimination exam and not an evaluation exam. Understand that. One more distinction is that in your board exams, you can learn solutions. You can copy that solution and paste it in your answer sheet and you'll become the topper. But in IP Mad, that is not possible. You need to learn concepts, not solutions. So what concepts should we focus on? These are the topics that have come the most. And these are the topics that have never come directly. However, don't let this fool you, okay? The harsh reality is, to solve these questions, you need to have a good basics of these questions. These concepts are tools which will allow you to solve these questions, right? Because there are little to no direct questions asked from quadratics but a lot of questions are asked from series. So a person might think, okay bro, forget quadratics, focus on series, IPMAT and all, ho jayega. But don't be that person. If you do not know the basics of quadratics, you might not be able to solve the 41st question of the 2019 IPMAT paper, which is based on series. But it has the concept of quadratics within it. Right, build concepts. So how do we start doing that? It is by not learning solutions, but by learning concepts. You have algebra, arithmetic, modern math, and number systems. Each of them have a lot of chapters. Each chapter has a lot of concepts. What IPMath is going to do, they're going to take one concept from here, one concept from there, and boom, you have a brand new question. And that is what IPMath is going to do. So if you learn only one concept and not the rest, you might not be able to solve questions. Hence, model of the story, learn all the concepts. Even if you're not the best at anyone, do not forego that, do not skip, do not ignore. And I hope this gives you a very good idea of never asking bhaiya what are the important chapters of IPMAT. Because IPMAT sadly doesn't work like that. At the end of the day, just because there is less weightage of a particular topic, don't skip it. Don't skip that concept, okay? What happened with me was, in 2021 paper, I didn't learn straight lines. I didn't learn coordinate geometry that much. But a very simple basic question came. I was not able to solve it. And that caused me to lose full marks, which could make or break my call. Which broke my call. <laughs> but we will not be talking about that. It looks overwhelming, but after I saw the question, people, I'm like, yo, <laughs> why didn't I do it? So... If we look at this question, this is what I had skipped because so much naya war time, but Abhi, I can understand that. So make an equation and you're good to go, you find the answer. It won't take more than one and a half minutes, but dude, I did not because I was like, let me skip this, aata nahi hai. <laughs> and I was overconfident. Doesn't work like that. Please never, ever, ever do that. So by analyzing the trends of the paper, we can see that some concepts are similar, but the Questions are not the same. The approach and thinking process is the same, but the solution is different. Right. So let us see more examples of what I was able to find. So over here, we had a question from coordinate geometry, a point from a circle. So in 2019 and 20, you get similar concepts, right? If you're able to solve one of them, at the best, you'll be able to solve the second one too, because it utilizes 
similar concepts. Next, we have modulus. This can be easily solved using the friends approach. If you're an ASAPN student, you'll know that. And that was available in 20 people and even in 2019 ka paper. And after that, we had a question from time speed distance on relativity, which has also come twice in 2019 and in 2021. We also had a question from number systems in 2020. And here you can see that it's mixed with probability. So if you do not know the basics of probability, well, you would not be able to solve the question even if you knew number system. So please do not ignore anything. Learn it, okay? Do not skip it, revise it. There are so many more trends, but it's not going to be useful if you just look at the video. Download the paper, right? And having these concepts at your fingertips could potentially be eight to 12 marks. I'm not saying that this pattern will come in 2022. However, with the insight that you have of these questions and be learning and practicing these concepts, you are going to have an upper edge in this competition. But it's not going to be easy. Watching the video was just a starting point. This was our analysis. You need to now download the papers and analyze them in the same way, but by considering your expertise in the concepts that are there. Identify the trend, create a list of these leaking trends, and make sure that you're able to solve similar questions and the concepts that revolve around them. So if you know relative time and time speed distance, understand how to solve questions based on a range. And if you make this in an Excel sheet, you can also add green and red boxes to identify and keep track of your status of your preparation. So similarly, you can also analyze your mock preparation. Are you able to solve questions from a particular topic, green or red? With this, you can make a trend of your own mistakes. And with that information, you will know what to prioritize on. Because some people might be weak on algebra, some people might be weak in arithmetic. This is a question which is very personalized and requires a lot of context. Only you will know what you would need to focus on the most. So yes, we are going to make mistakes in mocks, but that's the point. Only if we make mistakes in mocks are we going to fix the mistakes so that we don't commit the same mistakes once more. So it allows us to find the gaps in our learning, right? And we can fill them in. You can then revise and prioritize topics too. So at this point of time, I want to talk about revision. Revise consistently and constantly. One common problem amongst 1000 students of ASA IPM is that they forget what they learned. That happens because they don't revise. No matter how much you learn, you need to revise constantly to retain that knowledge. Every evening, take 30 minutes of your time and trust me, you will be at a better stage if you just revise and keep a track of what you're learning. Do not be overconfident. Revision is not going to hurt you at all. This very, very, very boring and tedious process of revising, memorizing, analyzing, analyzing, <laughs> analyzing all the ones that is going to bring a positive impact in your preparation. And that is going to be the reason behind your success and behind you cracking IP mat. And side note, quick personal advice. <laughs> if you think you can waste time only on Instagram, let me introduce you, Telegram. <laughs> so solving doubts on Telegram is good, but do not count that into your preparation time, right? Don't think that you can track IP man just by solving everyone's doubt. It doesn't work like that. Telegram also sometimes is going to eat you alive. It's going to suck you into pointless conversations and give you the idea that you're preparing when you're not really doing it because discussing the placement numbers is not going to make you crack IPMAT. So don't sit and judge colleges, but rather sit and judge your marks now available <laughs> at marks.asipm.com. Last but not the least, and this is something that Swapnil likes to tell a lot, don't run behind motivation, run behind discipline. Because right now you're going to have ups and downs, right? Do not get discouraged because when you zoom out, that ups and down is going to lead you to a bigger, better part at the top. I'm Bhavi Shaha and I wish you all the best. One last secret. If you want to clear the IP mat, like and subscribe to ASA IPM. You know why?
because we shall now be uploading video solutions of the past year papers which is going to assist you in your preparation so don't miss that right bye